Then if you do, Benjamin Bagley, PDTS, Well Buddy Bub, No McCallity, Aiden B, Pollux, G4J, McCurry, Luz the Human, Fragro, and so many others for your support. No ambulare soluso te umbra, anca ambulare ni muaca. Omne dabare ai wegekibus et mare russo flabare wege. Mormo o no ambulare russo soluso te setis cuspare custo, ocbare qua. Et ambulare custvare via. It Akipare Kustres Fetomor. Hello and welcome to Comic Critique. In this episode, we're looking at something a little bit different. The language of soldiers and kings, Larcanian. Now, Larcanian is the equivalent language to Latin in the world of Magnius, if you couldn't know that already. Uh, now, since this language holds such high significance in the world, let's go over its lore. At the fall of the Vicardian Empire, as covered in the last episode, it is the year 340 AC. A man named Larkham takes power in the kingdom of Esse. As he conquers Coleus, he slowly transitions his kingdom into an empire named after himself, the Larkanian Empire. After 66 years of conquest and terror, Larkham dies with no discernible heir. The old kingdoms reform, and the Larkanian Empire is no more. But the influence of Larkanians spreads across the continent. So much so that 200 years later, in 600 AC, the Empire forms again. This time, Larkin is a title rather than a name. This Empire, however, lasts for only about 30 years until a rebellion of mercenaries collapses it. Anyway, once again, Goliath is thrown into chaos, and 170 years later, the Third Larkinian Empire rises up. This Emperor had all the mistakes of his previous incarnations in the back of his mind. So this time, he declared that his empire would last for a thousand years! He made Larkanian the official language, and conquered all of Eastern Coleus. But the whole thousand-year empire thing... Yeah, that, that wasn't exactly gonna last. Again, after 44 years, the Larkan fought in the infamous Battle of the Banners against Brianic rebels in the north. He is subsequently captured, and his head is chopped off. And that tends to end your career real fast. Faster taking an arrow to the knee, in fact. But with the breakup of the last empire, the widespread influence of the language and culture would finally create the language that I'm speaking right now. A unique mix of Larkanian and Chakor that would evolve into Sindrari. Not to mention the more direct Larkaic languages like Arnesian. The legacy of Larkanian still lives on in the country of the same name and influenced the modern age of Magnus. So after that epic story, let's get into the Phonology. This shouldn't actually be too bad of a reading. Pa, ba, ta, da, pa, ga, ta, fa, sa, pa, ma, na, ra, la, wa. Ni, u, u, e, e, o, o, a, a. Shockingly, I have no real problems. The only thing would be using a V to represent wa, but that happens in plenty of languages, and Latin did it too, so no issue there. But the vowels, I guess I could mention all of them with long variants, but again, this is important in Latin, so there's no problems. This is a really good start, almost suspiciously good. Let's move on and see when or if the ball drops. Next is grammar. And this is pretty simple. We have tenses, which are past, present, and future. Only the past is divided into perfect and imperfect. The endings are a bit unwieldy, but that's my only gripe. Uh, there's no declensions or conjugations. That's a departure from Latin, but makes sense in an earlier predecessor. Uh, uh, uh -huh. There's a gender system. Lacanian nouns have three genders. Masculine, feminine, and neuter. Like Latin. And the endings are also like Latin. Damn it, that wasn't it. Uh, what do you have left? Oh, vocabulary. Vocabulary. There's sure to be something there. Just as with Chakor, we'll construct a sentence. The soldier saw the sunrise. First, we organize it into SOV. Soldier, sunrise, saw. Then, we translate. Soldier and sunrise are easy. But for saw, we need the verb for see, then to give it the past imperfect marker. And our sentence is, Puste solusote with bare. 
That was also simple. Huh. What about the writing? Lacanian uses similar characters to Latin, all capitalized and similar to today's English alphabet. Wait, I think I found it. For C and G, the letter C is used. But they're different sounds. We found it. Now we can tear this language apart. Wait, what? They also did that in Latin. Lacanian is a pretty good conlang, but the real problem comes not from the technical stuff, but from its real-world context. You see, Lacanian is close to Latin. Very close. So close that it begs the question, why even make a conlang at all? It just doesn't seem necessary to make a conlang when you could literally just use Latin. Plenty of fantasy stories already do. Take the Elder Scrolls. Well, the Cyrodiilic Empire speaks basically English. There are various references to Latin that are exactly the same as real-life language, so why even bother to make a conlang? With that, here's my updated ranking. I put it between Nosanyo and Valkama, but it loses points for how derivative it really is. Join me next time when I review the merry language of Sasivaka. Sasivaka.